Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play with AK featuring me, your host Akukami. The game is Diablo 3 and this is my playthrough of the game with my Demon Hunter in Nightmare. Well, I almost forgot what difficulty I was in. So anyways, in the last episode I took this left fork right here to the unknown depths and I unlocked the seal that was there for Zoltan Ghouls in order to access Zoltan Ghouls body or archives or whatnot. And in this episode I'll be going into the right fork right here. And basically, it's just like exactly like the last episode. You just go through, uh, go through the entrance. And, wow, what is that? You go through the entrance, and uh, you just go through the area, the maze-like area, and you get to the end. You fight some kind of unique mob, and you'll you unlock the seal. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. potions a little bit more simply because they're there for use and I'm not uh, a pro, I'm not a uh, high level player or state player or whatnot. I am a very casual player but I also like to take my the way I play a little bit seriously but at the same time not enough hatred. I well, simply put I am just not that great and I do need help so whoa I do not help that time, so why not use what's given to you and then use the health potions? <laughs> oh, come on. I appreciate it. If you would die, yes. Thank you very much. Oh, my hatred is too low. What exactly you have to go through in order to get to the end. Now, anyways, in other uh, other gaming news, I've been reading a lot of posts about the idea and how bad it is, and I don't understand why people are calling it so. How people are calling it so bad? I mean. It is, it is what it is. Diablo 3 is a hack and slash game where you go through each of the levels with each of the difficulties. And of course you the main the main focus of the game is the loot. I mean it's a hack slash loot. You kill enemies, you loot their bodies, and grab the items that they drop. You and then after that you can either upgrade whatever you have, you can trade. In this case, you can also use the. What is that? You can use the um, auction house, uh, the real money from the auction house, or the. Wow. Um, the real money auction house, or the, the, uh, the gold money auction house, in order to find here. And people are saying that basically destroyed the mystique for, uh, for Diablo 3 because. Um, you're forced to basically either kill that. You're forced to basically either use the auction house or or just whatever you find. And for me using the auction house, I have absolutely no problem with that because in back in Diablo 2, the first Diablo, it was so much of a hassle to sit to make to make a game with whatever you want. Uh, in the description, and just sit in the game and wait for people to come by and see if they have your items or not. Now, when I, when the game was still, when Diablo 2 uh, was still fresh, uh, people would actually go there, go inside the game, and they would trade with you and swap items and try to make deals with you. And as, the, as time went on, uh, people eventually started just. Uh, Coming into your game, as soon as you have, or and they were just, uh, just connecting your game, or just kind of playing in your game. Because, as you already, or some of you might already know, uh, the more people that are in the game, the better the, uh, the loot is, and that's what people were there for. And it was really annoying because uh, you're there, you're, you want to find some items, and here comes some jerk trying to fill up your game and. and do some magic finding in your game, and to me that really me off a lot. So what I did was, uh, somebody introduced me to some Diablo forums, Diablo 2 forums, where 
people could basically trade and whatnot. And to me, I think that was a huge help because I finally got the gear that I needed without having to sit and wait. I wonder if people who entered my game would actually uh, trade with me or not. And uh, what the um, auction house does uh, for Diablo 3, I think it eliminates the hassle of just sitting in the games and waiting for people to show up and and hopefully, I mean hopefully, come up with some, hmm, I think I missed this chest in the last episode, hopefully come up with the item that you actually need. And people are saying that this is destroying the game and uh, Blizzard is only using this because they collect keys from real money uh, sales and all of that nonsense. And to me, I completely see it. And if people complain about using the auction house and whatnot, Simply put, just don't use it if you don't want to. I mean, I don't understand what the big deal is if people, uh, if people complain about the auction house. Now, at this time, people are getting a bit angry, and I think it's because of going through the, uh, the PVM aspect of Diablo 3 is starting to get a little bit monotonous. So, in response to this, what Blizzard did is they released the, the new patch where they basically nerfed uh, the quality of jobs you can get from big bosses such as the Butcher or Belial or Asmodan and basically what they're doing is they're encouraging you to go out into the Diablo wilderness find those uh, uh, unique and champion packs that you would normally uh, get your uh, 5 stack from or Nephilim stack from and uh, Go out, look for those uh, enemies, and kill them because they will actually drop uh, decent items if you actually go through all of that. And I think this was a great move by Blizzard because it removes the monotony of going and doing Butcher runs or Asmodan runs or Bilal runs or whatever a big bosses you uh, go after. And people were pissed off by this because I think what they they were most upset about is. People is uh, people uh, were used to seeing uh, from Diablo 2. I mean, uh, they were just used to connecting uh, the main bosses, Disco, Diablo, and Dale, and they missed the nostalgic, the, uh, the nostalgic feeling that they get from doing those kind of runs. And for me, it, I think a Blizzard just made the game more interesting uh, on their on their end by uh, discouraging that kind of item and people are pissed off about it but me, for I think it's rather interesting because the whole point of the game is hack slash loot like I like I keep uh, saying and I think people that come from Diablo 2 are spoiled by this alright so anyways once you, wow is it like a little bit once you uh, break that other seal you're going to go back and wow uh, you're going to go back to uh, where you're, you uh, where those uh, where that fork in the road was. And you go here and basically find you can finally enter the center right here. But uh, since uh, this I intended on making this a uh, actually a three-part series because it goes you go through here to the unknown depths, the storm halls, and finally the realm of shadow, where you confront Zoltan Kul himself. Uh, it's kind of long, and I just wanted to break this up so that <laughs> it's not too long. So I'm going to end the episode here, and I will rant a little bit more about Diablo, probably in a different video, or separate video, or even in the next video. So if you like my commentary and videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also, thumbs up and like this video. If you like StarCraft 2, I do have some StarCraft 2 content on my main channel, so go check that out. As always, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you in another episode of Let's Play with AK.